points at VFL Park. And from VFL Park, we go up just a little bit further north where I dare say, Sandy Roberts, it's just a little bit warmer. The big one tonight at Carrara. Good evening. Yes, Pete, good evening. Magnificent conditions here at Carrara. And this is the first time I've seen the lights on here at the ground, the six towers. And really, it's lit magnificently and it looks fantastic. There was a little bit of rain this morning, but it's dried out wonderfully well. A slight breeze going across the ground, but really ideal conditions. And what an important night. Peter now for North Melbourne considering the results of today particularly Fitzroy quite simply North just has to keep winning and the Bears on the other hand under new coach Paul Feltham are determined to get off the bottom of the ladder they're there at the moment due to a poor percentage so I think it'll be a very interesting game tonight well we've got a couple of very important milestones too up there Sandy uh, Rains and Eden Yes, big night for Rodney Rocket Ede and Jeff Rains. And it's the first time in history, Peter, that two players have celebrated their 250th game on the same day or night for the same club. A tremendous achievement by these two veterans. I would imagine that Rodney Ede will probably be, be considering hanging up his boots at the end of the season. Jeff Rains will just have to wait and see. But a great performance, 250 games, and who knows, that might just inspire the Bears tonight. But North, as you are well aware, very tough to beat under lights. Yes, uh, they've got a pretty good record under lights. Have you been able to get to the rooms? Any changes? Well, the North Melbourne bus had a few problems, Pete. I should mention <laughs> this. They, they locked the gate and they couldn't get them in, so they've had to walk uh, a short distance, but we haven't been able to get into the rooms and ascertain if there have been any changes. Certainly, uh, as the North boys came up, there's no reserves being played here, of course, uh, as far as North Melbourne are concerned, and there didn't appear to be any changes. OK, Sandy, I know security's up there, up there is pretty tight. 